welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Stina Marie, and basically I make videos, girl, vlogs. Um, I have a segment on my channel called Stina Tries, where I try different hairstyles and nail techniques and all of that because I am not a professional, and I feel like it's way more entertaining for you all to watch me fail than to do it yourself. But if you, So if you like those type of videos, definitely subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and let's get started. All right, y'all, so this is going to be a continuation of a vlog that I actually ended this morning. But listen, girl, I'm hungry and it is time for lunch. So I was trying to think what I wanted. I'm not really for sure, but I forgot we had these, these little, okay. So yeah, I forgot we had these, these little Southern chicken bites. Now I got this at like Walmart, maybe. No, Sam's. I got this at Sam's because somebody said it tasted like the Chick-fil-A chicken bites and I wanted to try it so and I feel like they're even trying to market it like that with the little waffle fries and the pickles y'all not chick-fil-a but we about to see what you working with also you guys to add to the ambiance we got some chick-fil-a Polynesian sauce here eh, eh, eh. oh you know I just read this is that 100% of our profits are donated to team member scholarships. Now that is awesome. Y'all, they are such a good company. I don't really agree with their policy on like, you know, gay rights and LBGT. Y'all know what it is. I forgot, but still I support that. <laughs> so yeah, but as a company, I feel like they're really good. So anyway, enough of that. I got the Polynesian sauce because I felt like that would help kind of boost it over the edge. So we are going to try it. Let me go ahead, set this up, fix it, and I will show you what it looks like. And I got one little sleeping baby right here. Say hi, Gwacy. All right, that's all y'all gonna get. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I got my little chicken nuggets here. This is how they came out. They basically just look like chicken nuggets, right? I'm gonna put a little Polynesian sauce right here. All right, and this is what the snack is looking like today. Let's try one together, shall we? They're still super hot. I should have let these cool off for a little bit. Um, it's all right. I gotta let it cool off and I'll be back to try it. Well, no, I won't because I know I'm not going to remember. Let me just <laughs> let me just try it now again. Hold on. Polynesian sauce is good. It's great. It's definitely giving Chick-fil-A. But I feel like there's something a little different between this and the Chick-fil-A sauce, the Polynesian sauce you usually get. Chicken nuggets are not Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Let's just say that. They are not bad, though. They're not bad chicken nuggets. But I think what disappoints you eating them is the hype that people have placed on them you know now I made mine a little crunchy just because the first time I had these they were all right but I felt like they were so moist that it was almost giving you like gummy and I I hate gummy food so I try to cook it a little bit longer all right I'll be back so today has just been like a really 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 chill day for me it's actually been really productive though. I've got a lot of stuff done, but um, we are going to, I'm trying to spruce up my hair real quick. I gotta be careful though, cause the shirt I have on is like a linen type shirt and y'all know shirts like that, it just, like any little moisture just shows up like super hardcore. But anyway, um. Babe has a gig tonight in Shawnee, which is just a, oops, a little bit away from us, probably about like 45 minutes or so. So anyway, I wasn't going to go, but I think I'm going to go just to kind of help him like at his merch table, like sell CDs and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm trying to throw some stuff together. I just have on this little linen shirt since I'm probably not going to get a ton more usage out of it since it's already like September 
and um, some jeans. I do need to find some shoes. It's not cold outside. It actually feels perfect outside right now. However, you know, as it gets later, it's going to get cooler. You know what I mean? So I wanted to wear long sleeves if I could. Also because this gig is outside. So yeah, there's that. So I think this is probably going to be the last maybe of his outside gigs. You know what I mean? So since it's getting kind of late in the year, I think any other gigs or performances they have are going to be inside. But anyway, that is what's going on with me. As you can see, I was not ready. I still want to like weave my hair, uh, do a quick, quick weave in there, but I haven't done so. So we're just going to go with a low sleek bun, you know, just to kind of make it look like you put just a little effort and emphasis in there even though you haven't and i have makeup on from earlier today but i do need to i didn't do like heavy makeup at all i just put on something just to you know so i wouldn't look i guess that'll be good so yeah i didn't put on a lot um and so i need to kind of freshen it up now Put on a little something else. Okay, let me put this up. I am like definitely not doing a lot today. Because really I almost wasn't going to go. Because I'm not just feeling great. But um, I'm going to go and help him out. So when I do my hair and my buns, yeah, I don't like to do it too tight. I do it loose. Just let the, la the waves flow. And that's how we do that. Because I do want to brush it up in the back. Um... I just don't like pulling my hair super tight you know I remember I did a I think I did my hold on I want to bring it up a little bit though if not it's gonna be uncomfortable to sit with that big ball at the back of your head but when I did my updated bun routine video a couple of people were like man watch your edges and all that which I mean rightly so but I never pull my hair tight enough to where my edges are like screaming out in pain. It's not worth it because you do that, you know, your hair will grow, but then you lose your edges. I mean, so I always do my buns super, super loose. And I just call it like a messy bun, sis. Let them waves pop. Just do that. And then twist it in the back. And that's really all you got to do. It's very loose, like I said, but I feel like that's part of my style. I just always have like a loose bun. Sometimes I'll do it tight, but it's very, very, very rarely. I feel like if you do it too tight, your head looks big. Okay, this is actually a little too loose. I needed a, a tighter scrunchie, but oh well, yeah. That's what we doing. We ain't doing much, so that's going to be the vibe for today. I'm going to put just a little edge control. Just a little bit. I do not like no ton of baby hair. I have a little edge control brush, but honestly, I just use my regular brush. It works out just fine. Yeah, that's how I do that. Just to give myself somewhat of a sleek look. I just have it kind of slicked down right here. Alright, y'all. So, that's it. Okay, yeah. So, that's the vibe for tonight. Like I said, I may go through and tighten up my bun a little bit. It is very loose, like super, super loose, but that's all right. So I'm just going to touch up my makeup really quickly just to make it look like I put some sort of effort into it, even though we all know that I did not. I think I'm going to pull out my eyeshadow. I'll probably go back over that. Um... I'm also just going to do a slight contour with this and this add some blush on over it. So it just kind of make it look like, you know, my face is a slight beat. All right. And I'm going to go in with this Mac. I got this blush and I bought it thinking I was just going to wear the heck out of it. And honestly, I have not worn it all that much. I hate when I do that. It was just so freaking pretty though. So I'm going to. So yeah, just have a little bit on, nothing major. I wonder if that's too much. Cause I, I can barely see it, but my room is kind of dark. 
I'm gonna go over it just a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then I want to go in with just a little bit of highlighter. Would y'all wanna use this one? Yeah, I can use this one. I just want a dark one because we are not giving face tonight. We just trying to sis maintain, you know what I mean? I was about to say update. I need to kind of spruce up my eye a little bit. I didn't do a lot at all. So I'm just gonna go in with a gold, just kind of right under Ooh, my eyebrow. Yeah, I am hungry. I'm trying this new, I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier, okay? So I'm trying this new rice cake that I got. I am not a rice cake person. Some of y'all love rice cakes, not me. So I'm trying this new rice cake and it was actually pretty good. I had it with some natural peanut butter and it actually wasn't bad. I only had one though and I'm hungry again. Now I did have it this morning for breakfast. So that could be why I'm hungry because right now it's like uh, 4.30 I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend it out with this color. I'm just gonna put that right in the crease. Just having that one rice cake with a little bit of peanut butter and having it so much earlier in the day, I just feel like it is not holding me. I don't think it's supposed to hold you that long though because I think technically I should have eaten lunch by now and I haven't. So yeah, I think that's partially my fault and I'm just gonna go in with a really dark deep brown and just put it like right on my lids, especially because it's fall, girl. It is fall. I cannot wait. I have so many little fall lipsticks that I want to start trying that I felt like were a little dark for spring, so I didn't pull them out. So I am super excited. But usually if I do a really bold, dark lipstick, I like to do a really neutral eye. Like I like the rest of my face to be pretty neutral you know what i mean so it's not like quite so boom in your face let me see if i can use this one. Oh, good and my mirror is dirty okay oh well we just gonna make it work so are you guys excited that it's fall because i'm gonna tell y'all fall is my favorite time of year like y'all can keep summer give me fall and winter that's all i want you can keep summer you can keep spring that's just, that's not me. I'm not that kind of girl. I am not a summer and spring girl. Give me fall, give me winter, give me, give me rainy days, give me cold days, give me like crisp days that you need a cardigan or a, a jacket or something. I got basically everything done. I'm gonna add a little more mascara and then I need to do my lips and that's it. That's all I'm giving tonight. So have you guys started decorating for fall yet? Because I have not. And honestly, I don't know if I am. <laughs> I don't know if I am. Because you, you guys know we moved. We aren't, I mean, this house is a lot smaller than the other house. So I feel like we're kind of using different rooms for storage now as opposed to like rooms rooms like even our major living room has a lot of babes musical equipment and stuff like that in it and i just feel like this is like our preparatory house we're just kind of here for a year until the housing market gets back competitive that we can buy i'm not gonna pay like thirty thousand more for a house that i know we can get a lot cheaper if we just wait so not gonna happen and then when we were looking for a house, I think I told y'all this story, we couldn't really find any. Oh, I know what else y'all, I'm still carrying this backpack from the fair, from the fair. So I do need to, y'all, we went to the grocery store last night and I did carry it. I carried it looking just like a purse. I know people are like, why does she have a little drawstring backpack? But that's okay. Oh, I need to figure out what I'm gonna put on my lips. Um, And this is like, I was gonna carry this purse at the fair. It's like a crossbody purse you put on, it's really cute little circle duffel bag is very cute uh oh it was a little too small for everything that i needed to carry so that's why i put it inside that other backpack so i'm lining my lips this is my favorite liner this is mac what is it chestnut i know it's played out i know everybody and their mama wear this and talk about it but there is a reason it's because it's bomb <laughs> since this is outside i may not have to wear my mask 
but I've been kind of wearing my mask like everywhere type situation, you know, so I don't know. So I don't even trip too hard about my lipstick anymore because I haven't been seeing it in like over a year at this point. But yeah, this is my lipstick drawer. I'm trying to, oh, that's a purple. I'm trying to find something. I want something a little matte type look so I can put this gloss on top. This is a possibility. I hear Babe's alarm going off. I wonder if that means it's time to go. This is something I picked up from the beauty supply store. It's just called Natural. And I remember it's just like a matte. It's almost like Mac Teddy. That's kind of what it reminded me of. Oh, I used to wear the heck out of this. I forgot about this. Okay, y'all. This is the vibe tonight. This is what I'm getting. This is what I'm giving. What y'all think about the earrings? Y'all like them or should I change them? I do have some solid, I have just some regular gold hoops I could put on. Now I like this though, it gives a little bling. That's okay. I'm also gonna put this bracelet on. I have my Michael Kors bracelet on that is so cute. I'm in love with this bracelet y'all. But I'm gonna put this one on just so this one has some bling. And I think I'm going to do my nails in the car because girl, we we given two different uh outlooks on life right now so yes all right y'all we are about to head out if this vlog is not too long i'll add some clips from the gig that we're going to if it is i may add it in another vlog if you guys have not done so already definitely hit the subscribe button welcome to the family and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys